Hi ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruf Paliwal, you're watching AutoX and today as you can see around me, we are in Hyderabad at the Formula E, the first Formula E ever to be held in India and this is the first time even I am actually getting to attend a FIA event. It's pretty, pretty special. This is going to be an account of what I see here in front of me. How exciting is Formula E for India and you know what, right now we are in the pits, the qualifying is about to begin. So let's get started on that. But first, let's have a look at the pin in Farina Batista. We are here on behalf of Mahindra and I just walked in and saw something spectacular. Guess what this is? It's the Batista. For those of you who do not know, this is a really, really quick electric car. These are the numbers. And this one bears the name of Jihan Daruwala, who is one of India's very own racers, who's also a reserve racer for Formula E, for Mahindra Racing. And this car really, really looks sweet. Uh, see all this exposed carbon fiber. <laughs> I mean, the design of this car is just, I'm, I'm, for the first time I'm seeing this car in the flesh and it looks mind-boggling. It looks seriously fast. It looks like it could give these Formula E cars a run for their money. For those of you wondering what really acts as the safety car when it comes to a Formula E race, well, I have the answer for you right here in front of me. This is the Porsche Taycan and this is the official safety car of Formula E. And when the races are out live, you can actually see this car in action on track and it is too seriously quick. Let us know what you think of the livery down in the comments below. All right, so the action is on. are trying to do over here is try and stay behind one another and that is to get a streamlined effect even though they're not racing against each other right now but they're racing against the clock to set the fastest lap time the car behind them can follow with less resistance and therefore getting more speed and getting a better time and that is why you see that even in qualifying these cars are following each other really really closely all right that was some mouth-watering action but the qualifying has come to a stop for now and that's because there has been an incident and in fact the blue lights came on and for those of you who do not know what a blue light is well the marshal just told us if the impact is a 20g impact then medical intervention is required and that is why the blue lights come on apart from that uh, i want to talk to you about a little about the qualifying format because the qualifying format for formula e is different than what it is for formula one and now in formula e you go out onto a track in batches of 11 and then the top four from each group are taken and put into a top eight to uh, pit against each other in a quarterfinal, semi-final and then a final shootout. Well, this does not explain the entirety of the process that goes behind uh, the entire qualifying format, but it is an eye into and it is a pretty interesting format because it's not ultimately the best time that's going to be leading the grid, but it's obviously going to be a one versus one at the end of the day and that really matters a lot in getting pole position. All right, guys, we are here in the pits. The qualifying is over. It was an exciting one. And the fact is that Jaguar actually made it with two drivers up till the semifinals, where one of the sad drivers, Sam Bird, got disqualified for stepping over the line. That means he was off track limits. Uh, we are actually right in front of the Jaguar garage. And it's their other driver, Mitch Evans, that has actually managed to grab pole position now, it's going to be an interesting race because sitting from pole he's going to have a lot of advantage but he's all he will also have to dictate the pace of the race and obviously with things like attack mode coming into the picture it's going to be an interesting one we were expecting that Mahindra might shine this being their home race but tip up until now things have not really favored them but let's see what the race brings because Lucas De Grassi who's the main driver who's the lead driver who's also a veteran in Formula E has been known to bring his A game when it comes to the race this 
so much of excitement in the air. There's people here who've seen Formula E for the first time, including me. And this, being able to be so close to the cars, I think that's the best part about all of this. Uh, obviously, once the race is live, we won't have access to the pit lane anymore. But seeing these mechanics work on these cars in whatever amount of time they have, I think that's, that's really the key to seeing the efficiency of these machines, the efficiency of these people to get these cars out on track racing. All right, so one more interesting bit before the race gets underway is this. It's the driver's grid walk where the drivers are being ferried around in these small little tuk-tuks, if you would call them. Uh, three wheelers, they'll be going around the track so that uh, the people can see them, they can see the track, obviously. And my favorite, the Porsche Taycan safety car. I think it looks gorgeous. All right, it's close to being three in the evening and that's when the race starts. Uh, so we only have about a few minutes, I think around 15 minutes before the race starts. The stands are starting to get full. The cars will soon be coming by for a pass by as they uh, get on the warm up lap before the start of the race. And in fact, we're not very far away from the start of the race. Uh, we're going to hope to catch it live. Uh, fingers crossed, we get there, we get the shot. Look at these cars go. I mean, I have never in my life before watched a spectacle this fast, this pure, and this fun. All right, as you've just seen, the race has begun. This is turn one and two. This is where we're going to be spending most of our time because it's not easy to move around the circuit. And the cars go really, really fast here because this is actually part of a long, long straight. And they've put in the chicane here, the chicane for namesake, just to slow the cars down because otherwise they're reaching quite a high top speed before they reach the end of the straight. As you can see, the Porsche Taycan has come around and all the cars have lined up behind it in an equidistant manner. Uh, this is what the safety car does. It'll soon uh, be back in the pit lane once uh, the debris out on track, once the car that's out there on track has been removed uh, and the racing will resume. All right, the update is this, that uh, Mahindra has actually done pretty well in this race. They're still not on the podium places, but their second driver, as one would say, that is Oliver Rowland, has actually made up a lot of places, has actually performed well. It's not him who's made up a lot of places. It's Lucas Di Garci who's made up a lot of places. But Oliver Rowland has put in a really consistent performance today. He's currently running in fifth. There's only a couple of laps of the race left. Uh, well, you know what? I'm going to head to the finish line to find out where he finishes. Oh my God, that was a picture perfect finish. <laughs> Frankly, because the leader, Vern, had almost no battery left when he crossed the finish line while the people behind him had a decent amount of battery left. So you know what, let's head to the pits and find out what things are like. Now, while we were trying to get to the pits, the crowd was actually quite a lot and the actual podium was outside the venue. So that's where we headed. <laughs> So we are here, the event's done and dusted, the winners have been announced and it was honestly a madhouse. A lot of people turned up, a lot of celebrities turned up to watch the event and the racing was fun, intense and I think as a first time watching an FIA event, uh, this was definitely a step up in the kind of quality and the kind of entertainment that there was to offer. That was all from the Formula E, from Hyderabad. That's all for now, just hoping that the action returns next year. See you then, see you later, goodbye.